First of all, Biden is a transformative president. He has a shot at that. Not everybody has a shot at being a transformative president. And the second is the Middle East piece. And I think both of those are quite important, Hadley. Uh, on the transformative president piece, the reason he has a shot at being a transformative president in the, in, along the lines of a Harry Truman or a Franklin Roosevelt uh, or a, uh, a Ronald Reagan, people who have just changed the course of where the US was going in one way or another, Reagan and Bush, uh, George H.W. Bush bringing down the, the Soviet Union, ending the Cold War. Uh, uh, you know, FDR and, and Truman really creating the global system at the end of World War II. Well, what does Biden have to do? He has to save the system that was created at the end of World War II. He has to re-engineer it and make it work for a new era. What you saw this week with the EU reaching out with a very specific set of ideas about how they would like to have a global agenda with the United States shows that they understand they have a shot with Joe Biden to put things on, tr on track uh, to bring the US and Europe together to achieve a great many things, but most of all, to manage China's rise, to manage the authoritarian rise, make sure the, uh, democracy moves forward. He has the experience Biden has. He has the team. Uh, he even has the mandate, if you actually look at it. He certainly he has a lot but of Republican hasn't problems. Hasn't the world moved on in some yeah. ways? I mean, eight years of Barack Obama, a very different foreign policy, though, coming from Trump, and in some ways achieving the same end, which is to you know, see America off into the sunset, in a sense. One wonders if America has the same clout that it did. And do you think that there are enough people in the broader you know, reaches of the State Department to make all of those things happen? Um, I, think the, I think the people are there. I think they also might, may start bringing people back who left during the Trump administration. I think the real thing they'll have to do is convince the American people that it's in their interest to be engaged. And this really gets to the Middle East. I think one of the biggest tests is going to be the Middle East. And what does the Biden administration do regarding, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, Saudi Arabia is one of the areas I think is most important to watch. I think there'll be much more emphasis on human rights. Uh, I think you may even see the Saudis act to release uh, some of the women activists between now and the administration, or sorry, the inauguration or shortly after the inauguration at the end of January is a, is a sign of goodwill. Um, but I don't think you'll see a Biden administration as eager to go back into the Iran deal, the nuclear deal, as the, Ob as the Obama administration was to sign it. And that gets to your point, Hadley, is things have changed so much in the last four years. And Iran has moved forward in the way it's uh, engaging regional misbehavior. Uh, the technology of their missile systems and their weapons has been so far advanced. We saw that in the hit on the, uh, Saudi, uh, uh, the Saudi oil uh, targets. And so I think that's one that I'm really going to be watching closely to see how they come out of the gate on Iran.